What's up guys, Monster Dino Reviews. So today we're reviewing something really old in my collection. It is the Dynadex from 2002. And then this was released based on the Pokédex craze from, you know, the Pokémon series prior to that. And yeah, this was mine from, from back then. So I haven't really done anything with this in 20 years. So it's going to be interesting just to see how it was. I can vaguely remember stuff about it. So I even kept the packaging pretty much as it was back then. It's just taken the top off. So yeah, before we do that, guys, you can see it's very bright, vibrant box art. And I just remember seeing this in like the Argos catalogue and just going mad for it just because it was yeah the equivalent of a Pokemon Pokedex type thing. And as you can see, it says contains detailed information and graphic animations of over 70 dinosaurs. Now, I'm sure some of this scientific information is going to be inaccurate. Obviously, Spinosaurus, we now know, is four-legged or has changed to be that. We don't really know that, do we? Um, but yeah, so looking on the back here, guys, and you can see some of these animations and stuff here. Battle to the death as you take on terrifying dinosaurs. Create a new dinosaur breed using different dino DNA. Release it in the wild and watch it survive. So yeah, you'll know I've been playing Jurassic World Mobile and a lot of these games love just this idea of hybridizing dinosaurs into one. And this was one of the big sales actually for this for me back then that you could do this. So we're gonna take a look at that. So just up here on the top right, we've got what it actually does. With high resolution dot matrix graphics and digitized sound effects, the Jurassic Park 3 Dynadex is your personalized electronics encyclopedia. Just by highlighting a dinosaur's name, pull up complete bio information along with graphic images of selected dinosaurs and take full advantage of the Dynadex system bio search engine to list and sort your favorite dinosaurs by unique attributes like height, weight and type. The Dynadex combines organizer functions, name and phone number listings, email addresses, web addresses, alarm clock, schedule reminder, calculator, name entry and password protection. You can also enter and save personal notes in the personal log function. This was like something massive back in the 90s to 2000s, the whole organizer thing. Jurassic Park 3 Dynadex also features two gameplays to explore. Enter the DNA lab to create your very own dinosaur using existing dino DNA or try the battle dome to go head to head in a fight to the death against another dinosaur. OK, so, yeah, let's um, let's get him open. So, yeah, like I was saying, guys, I did a bit of searching on eBay and you can find these. They're really hard to get hold of. Actually, there's not too many listings on there, but there was one selling it for a, for a £10 UK. Okay, so here's the device, and I've already gone ahead and put batteries in this. Now, I'm actually very surprised at how good care I took of this for a young 12 to 13 year old me. So yeah, it's in pretty good nick. As you can see, it's got this nice gray color and the Jurassic Park 3 emblazoned logo on it. So on the side here, you just open it up and there's all this keyboard and number lettering here to use for the game so we'll switch it on what i am a bit annoyed about is that you can't fully open this and i don't remember that being the case i don't want to stress it just in case i break it so yeah apparently it only just opens up this far okay so there we've got the typical desktop type thing of these decks type devices and as you can hear it's got the sound effects too so we got archive files personal log schedule list data bank security system system core sorter calculus so yeah, it's got the organizer type functions here game simulator let's do this one first and we'll check it out battle dome and DNA lab. So we'll go into the DNA lab first. It's quite a sharp sound. We'll do a T Rex head. For the arms, I'm going to do. It's funny, you can do a Triceratops arm. I wonder what that'll look like. I'm going to do a Velociraptor arm, so we'll make it sort of just like a bigger T Rex. Oh, then torso, obviously T-Rex torso. And select the feet. We'll do 
good Triceratops feet. Kale T Rex. Here we go. Moment of truth. I really can't remember how this looked. Yeah, that's pretty much just a T-Rex. I can't see any difference. The arms are still tiny. But I think this thing grows. I went ahead and redid it just to see what other combinations look like. So we're going with the Triceratops arms and feet on this one. And yeah, it's got a really funny animation when you actually bin the dinosaur. So that's um, exactly the same. I don't know. I think it probably just grows into something. So I click no here. So I'm going to try this again. Try comps of Nathus this time and see if, if his arms get any smaller. Torso. T-Rex. And the feet. Let's try Triceratops again. Tail. T-Rex. I think probably if I pick like a different head, then maybe it'll look different. But yeah, it's coming out pretty much the same. Yes, yeah, so we'll do this one more time. We have a Triceratops head this time around. There we go. So it's showing something different. Now, because I've gone basically T-Rex with a Triceratops head. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and make a different dinosaur, guys, and just go through the game and see if there's any growth stages. Uh, this time around, I actually did a Triceratops torso, so it seems dependent on the torso which type of movement uh, you're going to get on the dinosaur. The only thing I haven't tried is a Velociraptor torso, so I could probably try that, but I'm guessing it's probably just going to look the same as a T-Rex. Gone for a T-Rex head here. So I've settled on something in between a T-Rex and a Velociraptor. I think I used a Triceratops tail, so I'm just going to call it the Indorex, based off of the filmed hybrids. There we go, so we're in the game mode now. I'm guessing you just have to run away from these sort of dinosaurs. It's been ages since I've done this. So yeah, it's um, it's like a kind of wasteland sort of Tamagotchi type game, which is pretty cool. Yeah, it's done a, done a dropping there. <laughs> now that's interesting. Did I control him or is he doing it himself? Yeah, I think I'm, I think I'm controlling him, but maybe he's doing it himself. Yeah, I don't seem to be having any control over this. It's just doing it itself. So what else do you do on this mode? He's found something to eat here, guys. I don't know what that is. Sort of like leftovers or something. Yeah, I'm really hoping that it has growth stages on it so we can see what this ends up looking like when it's an adult. I may have to come back to that. So I've come out of that now, guys. Let's go into the game simulator and see what's in here. Again, this one I think was the Battle Dome. So yeah, we'll give that a go. Watch mode or fight mode. I guess you participate in this one. Got to do user select for the video. So let's go to classic T-Rex. And we've got Therenzinosaurus here. I could do Spinosaurus as well. Let's have a look. Yeah, we'll do Spinosaurus. All right, I'm participating in this one. I'm not sure how to play this, but yeah, let's, let's have a look. Oh, I got killed. Spinosaurus is taking me out. Um, 
cool. A does tail. B does tail work, sorry. A does attack. Ah. I'm going to need the, the tripod for this one second. I still record. This is actually really kind of hard to play. Yeah, I got him. There you go. So it is sort of like a rock, paper, scissors type thing. You can move forwards and backwards. Pretty cool nonetheless for something like this back then. I think that's enough of that. So now I really want to just check the uh, dinosaur's log. Here's the T-Rex, they've listed it as a massive 50 feet. Now we know they're about 43 to 45 feet, but yeah, I'm sure they probably could have got up to this size. And here's the one for the Spinosaurus. They could have used that image for the battle dome, I think, it would have been better. Yeah, and they've got that at 60 feet, which is about right, something up to that length, and 25 feet tall, which we know is way too tall. The T-Rex at 23 is also very tall. Uh, the T-Rex was probably something like I think it was like 15 to 18 feet or something along those lines. And they've got it at 15,000 pounds. Bipod swimmer, a carnivore, may have eaten fish among other aquatic dinosaurs, uh, animals, sorry. Terrestrial animals found in North Africa. Spinosaurus is known to be the largest carnivorous dinosaur based on the fact that the vertebrae of Spinosaurus were 20% larger than those of Tyrannosaurus rex. Now I'm going to have to check that. Maybe that's true, maybe it's not. But if you look at skull comparisons, the uh, the T-Rex skull is just so much bigger than a Spinosaurus in terms of depth and width as well as um, just overall height. In terms of length, I think the Spinosaurus is more narrow and longer, like a crocodile. So yeah, maybe that's true, maybe not. Spinosaurus certainly would have appeared larger due to the sail-like fold of skin that the six-foot spine supported. So it was probably used for thermal regulation, possibly evidence that not all spine, uh, dinosaurs were warm-blooded. No eggs, nests, or babies known, no skeletons known. Yeah, they, I think it was based on like two skeletons. Right, going back to the bio of the T-Rex, and we can see one of the largest flesh-eating land animals. And the top predator on its continent, Tyrannosaurus had longer teeth and a larger head than any other terrestrial carnivore. Its rows of teeth were slightly curved to get bare grip of its prey, like a shark. Once Tyrannosaurus was bitten into its prey, the victim had no chance of sliding out of its mouth and getting away. Pretty nice uh, scientific descriptions here they missed the bone crunching factor of the t-rex's bite but yeah i suppose science has moved on a little bit they said it could run 30 miles an hour we don't know if that's true i think we think nowadays that it was slower than that but yeah okay so that's that coming out of here a pretty nice little device i must say especially as a kid i love this thing uh, schedule list. So you can obviously do your organising here. Yeah, we're not going to bother with that, so come out of there. Data bank. So you can just store names and phone numbers in here. Pretty much like a digital organiser, but with the dinosaur skin on the top. System core, what's that going to be? System core just gives you your name, date, and ability to set sounds on and off and set an alarm. So that's all it does. Security system, I'm guessing it's to set a password. Yeah. We won't bother with that. So the calculator, pretty typical. Sorter. Oh, that's cool. You can sort them out by height, length, and weight. It's 
we find out which is the tallest, it's going to be something like Sora Poseidon or uh, smallest first. Really, if they did an updated version of this with all the current dinosaurs, that'd be pretty decent. Okay, so we haven't got Sora Poseidon, we got Seismosaurus, Argentinosaurus, which we know was one of the tallest, Ultrasaurus, Brachiosaurus, Mamenchiosaurus, Barosaurus, quite a, a few of these huge herbivorous dinosaurs, and then we've got Spinosaurus as the tallest, which we know is not true, so T-Rex would be in its place. There's no Giganotosaurus or Carcodontrosaurus, which would uh, have been discovered back then, I think. So that's a shame they're not in, in here, but I guess they're more well-known nowadays. So yeah, coming out of here, guys. Short, uh, game simulator. And finally, system buyers. This is the last function on here, I think. That's cool. So you can make it just like a, a favorite list. And that's it, guys. That's the Dynadex from 2002 for Jurassic Park 3. Well, guys, thank you very much for watching this Nostalgia Blast from back then. And, yeah, I hope you subscribe to the channel. Check out my other videos. I do dinosaur reviews and I do also game content like Jurassic World and all that sort of stuff. So, yeah, please check the channel out. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys.